Hey, in this video, I'm going to go over this product called Survey Sparrow, where you can create conversational surveys like the one you're seeing on the screen right here. So stay tuned for this. Hey, everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today, I'm going to take a look at this product called Survey Sparrow. And, you know, what, what piqued my interest on this is, as you know, chat bots are taking over. You know, you see chat bots all over the place. Well, this company is doing a little bit of a twist in that they're doing surveys, what they call conversational surveys. So sort of like a merger of chat bots and surveys. And, you know, I've never been one to really spend too much time on surveys because, you know, you send those survey monkey links out and nobody really wants to click them and do that. Well, these are things that you can send that, that kind of put a little modern face on those surveys. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and sign up. They don't require you to have a credit card to sign up, which is wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up under TechSmart Boss here. Let's see what this experience is like. I love their branding, a little Sparrow. They got a great concept here with Survey Sparrow. Let's go ahead and save that. I'll give it my name. Let's see if they really need my phone number. Okay, they don't. And let's go ahead. This looks like your name, your company name becomes your domain. So you'll see their techsmartboss.surveysparrow.com. Let's sign up. So that was neat. It looks like they're building our nest. And hey, look at that. We're in. So that's that's kind of the experience I like. You know, don't ask me for credit cards. Don't send me through a whole bunch of steps. So very clean and straightforward. And looks like I could first start building a survey. Now let's explore a little bit before we do that. Let's close their automated intercom message over there. So looks like uh, at survey audience settings. Let's take a look under settings. Uh, there's our account that's pending email verification. I'll do that later. Uh, and it looks like here we can put a logo in place, change our company name, time zone, pick a billing plan. Now what I like about them, we're in a trial. They're going to give us access to their premium plan. And um, as you build your surveys and things, it actually tells you what is not considered um, part of the free version, but part of the trial version. So let's, let's take a look at a couple examples that they actually give. Let's look at this employee satisfaction one. So the way their conversational surveys work, there's a say hi uh, moment that you can edit. And then you'll notice that there's questions that you can enter. Let's look at some of these questions. So you'll see here, can you observe? So they ask a question. Let's take a look at the types of questions that they have. And this is what I like. It's, it's well thought out in terms of the question types and the interactions that you can have. So opinion scales, multiple choice, picture choices, which is really nice, uh, ratings, Yes, no questions, text, numbers, and email that you can collect. So that's a, a really good uh, list of questions there. And you can see here there's logic. So you can build logic that this question will only show when certain conditions are met, which is a really great um, feature. And you can also make questions skippable. Uh, so you can notice here they've got questions here as well as a way to say thanks. Let's preview this. Take a look at how this looks. And this is where that conversational flow comes in. So you'll see instead of just a boring survey link, you actually get a chat box where this could be your icon if we set that up. And it says you got a moment to share some feedback. Sure. And then it's got buttons. So this is the button one. Let's say yes. And you'll notice it has like a text field. And now this is a, uh, a list here. Let's answer four. And I'm sure you can, based on their answers here, that's where that logic comes in. You can take them, ask them additional questions. So if I put, for example, zero on this, I could follow that up with another question on why they gave us that ranking. So very nice style that kind of goes through. And you'll notice here it's responsibly designed. So if this was on a smaller screen or if this was on your mobile phone, you'll see how that adjusts. And I know that they're going to work on making that even better than it is today. So let's actually build a quick one. I'm going to go back over here and go to build. Let's go to home. Let's add a new survey. So I'm going to start a new survey. I'll do it from blank. I'll leave this high question here. Just go straight into adding a question. So let's, I don't, I'm not a big fan of NPS score, but let's do that traditional one you see all the time is, you know, let's do a opinion scale and you'll see it defaults to one to 10, which is nice. Look at this. I can just change the ratings just like that. That's pretty cool. And they also give options to start it at a one. Actually, I'm going to start that at one. I hate for anybody to rate me as a zero. 
Um, so let's say how likely are you to refer our company to your network? I don't know the exact question that you're supposed to ask, but let's change this to very likely to not at all likely. Might be it. There we go. So you'll see that updates pretty much. So let's go ahead and save that. That's pretty simple. Next one is uh, going to be your basic text box. Why did you rate us like that? Pretty simple. But you'll see all the types and logic and things that we went through before. And then I can say thanks. Let's just say you're awesome. So just like that, I think I've created this. It says it's saving automatically. Now a couple things I can do with this, which I really like in this product. One, you can immediately go to a couple different share options. So you can share it via email. They actually have an email delivery function built in, which is pretty interesting. You know, I was just thinking that you would, you know, get your um, your your link and share it. But what's nice about this product that it takes a little extra. That the reason I did that NPS. NPS is something that you would do on a recurring basis. You would every month or every quarter ask your customers how they felt about you. You'll see this recurring survey. So if you're premium, you can actually make that a recurring survey and send that out every month on a specific day of the month and things like that. So very nice built-in email capability here. And this is a nicely designed email. It's got a lot of their branding here. I'm not sure if we can get rid of that or not, but that's a nicely designed email. Let's go back and look at the others. There's the web link. You know, let's copy that. And you'll see that exactly what I created, this is how it would work. It says, uh, how likely are you to refer? I'll do 10. And why did you rate us like that? I'll just put in some junk. And there's my you're awesome. So it works, you know, as expected. And then also there's the social shares, which they have in here. And if I go into my survey settings, you'll see you can give it titles and organize it in the folders and give it URLs and all those kind of cool things. And then when you hit your results, you'll see they got a pretty nice dashboard here that's going to give you all the results as they come in. So overall, it's it's a it's a pretty easy to use and complete product. And I know they're just starting out with this. This is a new company. So I'm sure they got a pretty extensive roadmap and they're going to do quite a bit with it. Um, so if you're looking for this sort of quick and easy conversational survey type tool, you know, definitely go out there and take a look at surveysparrow.com and give it a trial. Uh, it might be exactly what you need. And as I say, I'm researching more tools like this. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos, not just on this topic, but all sorts of business uh, tech topics. And also check out our Facebook page and go out to techsmartboss.com and join our group. Talk to you next time.